have a special treat for you as we come to downtown Seattle on Fifth Avenue from one of Seattle's premier Italian restaurants, Tulio. And joining me today is the executive chef, Walter Pisano. Walter, hello. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Doing great. Nice to doing see great. you again. Yeah, it's now, doing great. We have a special recipe today. Yeah. Sweet potato gnocchi. Sweet potato gnocchi. It's on the menu here at Tulio. It's a popular dish, and I thought it'd be a great one to demonstrate. First of all, what is gnocchi? Gnocchi is a, a, a dumpling, mm -hmm. and uh, this one we're going to make with sweet potatoes, but it can be made with a lot of different things. Well, great. Let's get started. Okay. Well, we're going to take the sweet potatoes, and we're going to blanch them, drop them in the boiling water. All right. Now, how long are we going to want to cook these, Walter? Uh, typically, depending on the size of the potato, about an hour, but to basically they're fork tenders. You can put a fork through them, and they're nice and It comes tender. out easily. It comes out easily. Great. We're going to wait till they're done. You can see the skins are starting to peel back starting on them. Peel back. So they're, they're looking nice and tender. Great. And we're just going to drain them. Just basically start to peel them. And I just use a knife. Sure. And to take the skins off, as you can see, they just fall off really easily. You don't need to use a carrot peeler or anything. The knife works just fine. Look at the color on those. That's something to note that when we're done, they're going to be a gorgeous color. And, uh, you know, just boiling them, even though you haven't, uh, it's going to bring out a lot of flavor just in, in mm -hmm. general. Now, we can use yams for this as well? We tried it one time. Uh -huh. There, As you know, the yam is vibrant orange. It's beautiful. It really is a great for aesthetic purposes. But for the actual process of making it, we found them to be a little heavier. We had to add more flour. And uh, they just didn't really work for sure. us. So, so we pretty much stay with the sweet potatoes. So now that they're peeled, and one of the reasons we peel them is it makes it easier to put them through we have a ricer. The ricer. And if you have the, um, the skins on them, they kind of get stuck, but it's just a lot harder work. And I don't like to work that hard. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so we're going to put them through and uh, rice them. You can get uh, uh, circular ricers, which work fine. Uh, this is the one that we've been using. Uh, seen them around town, so they're, they're pretty easy. They come in find. different shapes. They also have the, the type that you can... Uh, I don't use the food you mill. You don't use the food mill. It's the, you don't want to use the food mill because you overwork the dough. Okay. So it's really important just to always use a uh, ricer when you're doing And we're this. putting these through to eliminate lumps. That's right. Eliminate lumps, and it's just going to make it for a smoother dough. Uh-huh. Get a and little fluff to it. A little fluff to okay. it because your goal, obviously, is to make a nice, light, airy gnocchi, not mm -hmm. anything that's heavy. Now we have our potatoes rice. Okay. So we're going to add an egg. Okay. okay, thank you. And um, we're going to add a little nutmeg. Now, now this, this is an interesting contraption. Tell us about this. Yes, well, a lot of people have seen this typically with the cap on it, which is a garlic slicer, and you can slice garlic very thin, mm -hmm. um, and it's, it's pretty useful. But you can, people don't know that it's got a little grater here also, and that you can use it to grate nutmeg. Oh, yeah. So we're going we're gonna to do that and get a little nutmeg. And I like to use the fresh nutmeg. I mean, you can buy it in a powder form, but like a lot of dried spices, as they sit on the shelf, they just lose their potency. So, yep. I mean, you can just smell that. Oh. I mean, it's just aromatic. Oh. It just opens up. And you use a lot less this way exactly. as well. Exactly. Because it is so strong. So a little nutmeg. Okay. And then um, I just brought uh, a piece of wedge of cheese. I like to use an imported cheese. Uh, Reggiano Parmigiana, obviously, would be the ideal one. Uh, but there's also a lesser grade called grana. Mm -hmm. And for this dish in particular, the grana will also work. So we have it here. We've also kind of pre-grated it. And I put some uh, of it in. As you see, I kind of grated it pretty fine. If you have a grater that does like strands, you might want to just pop it into your food processor just to get a little bit finer. Because you, you want to fine. Exactly. Right. Okay. Better okay. consistency. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So the Parmesan's in there. Okay. And now we're going to add a little seasoning. You have okay. to be careful with the salt because the Parmesan's fairly salty. Sure. And you can always season the gnocchi at the end when you're sauteing mm -hmm. it. I, I put a little fresh black pepper. You could use okay. white pepper too if you didn't want the black specks there. Okay, and now what we're going to do is just get, get our hands involved here. Great, that's, that's my That's favorite. kind of the fun thing. I've already pre-sifted the flour, and so I'm going to start adding it. And what I'll do, even with that egg, is I just kind of break it up a little bit. Okay. And you could do it with a fork, but you know, we're going to start adding the flour. But here again, don't don't add too quickly. So okay. we're just going to keep adding a little bit, working with our hands. Yeah, much like you would any sort of dough. Any kind of dough, like pie crust, uh, like a pie stuff, crust, yeah. or even a bread dough. Exactly, it's like a bread dough. Hands. Okay, so you can see that there's some of it's it's still fairly soft uh -huh. and it's still fairly wet. Now this is the point where I'm going to put a little bit of flour on the board. Okay. You can work on a, a cutting board. You can work on marble, granite, whatever you have. Uh -huh. So now we're going to bring it together a little bit. Uh huh. Oh yeah, you can see it. With each motion, it starts to come together a little bit more. And I'm going to get that off my fingers here and into the dough. 
And a lot of times, if you can just have a little bit a little of the flour, a lot of times what I'll do with the flour is I'll just kind of work it on my hands and it mm -hmm. almost takes off the, the excess. That's of, a good tip. Brings you know, it right off because you want wash them. You want all that in here. Exactly. You don't want it on your hands. That's you want right. it in here. What happens a lot of times with the gnocchi is people kind of get to a point where they go, okay, it still feels wet. So we, if you feel the dough here, there's a little bit of elasticity still there. Soft. Still soft. Still soft. So it's a, it's, it needs more flour exactly. at this stage. It's going to need more flour, but we're going to do that during when we roll it out. Gotcha. Okay, Perfect. you need to dust the board a little bit, but the other thing that you want to do first is if you have a pastry scraper, mm -hmm. that's great to get that board clean. Okay. Okay. And then we can take a little flour, and then we just have a nice smooth surface oh, yeah. to dust the, to roll out your gnocchi. Now you didn't knead it a lot. You didn't work it a lot. No. Exactly. Because if, if you do, it'll tend to toughen a little exactly. bit? Exactly. Well, what you're going to do is you're going to finish the working process right now, and that's ah, what happens sometimes. Okay. I typically let this rest a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe just put a, a, I don't even say a damp towel over it, just let it rest. And then I'll cut it like so. And I'm cutting it lengthwise because eventually I'm going to be rolling it out. And so you had a little bit more flour here. Mm -hmm. And you can still see when you cut it, it's a little wet to the touch, but not too bad. No, it's not bad and, at all. And that's exactly where you want it. You know, you could even be a little wetter mm -hmm. because we are going to finish the process with a little bit more flour. Sure. So, and what you're going to start doing is just start rolling with, with these parts of your hand using your fingers. And as you're rolling, you're pulling out. As you can see, it's sort of stretching out. And you can almost see that it's already see that gluten working yes, there. It, it has some elasticity, but yeah. it's holding. Yeah, so you add a nice, you know, I'd say about this size works really well. Okay. You get a nice little rope, and then you just continue to do them like this, and roll them into the ropes. Oh, it feels so and good. And just real delicate. Yeah, you know, just... one, one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to push hard. Uh -huh. You don't want to, it's like anything else. I always tell people to kind of treat the f food very delicately, mm -hmm. you know, because you can, it's very easy to overwork. It's that light and gentle touch. Okay. All right, so now we get to this point, and we can use, um, I can use the pastry cutter, or if you have a sharp knife, you just want to make sure that you clean the edge, mm -hmm. and then you can just do, ah. you know, these are a little bit longer, they can be shorter if you like them. At this point, you could press them into different shapes if you'd like. Well, you can do that. You could pinch them, and I was going to show you what we have here. Uh -huh. It's with the fork. A lot of times, they just roll them with the fork and just roll them off and kind of add a little indentation. Yeah, a yeah. little uh, a little visual to it. So there we go. Now we have nice gnocchi here. Boy, they're gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. Let's get these, you know. Look at that. So once we have them th at this point, you know, we can do a little, real little, here again, you have to be careful, a little light dusting of flour. Okay. And then um, I put them on a piece of wax paper on a plate. And then what we would do is maybe put another piece of wax paper on top. Okay. And then we put them in the refrigerator for a couple hours. They set up, and then we'll be ready to cook them. Boy, it sounds terrific. I'm getting yeah. hungry. Oh, so am I. You, you want to wrap it boiling water. Very do important. Put a little salt in there. Salt, a little salt. Put a little okay. salt in there for seasoning. And then we're just going to drop them in one at a time. These we're going to cook for a couple minutes. A couple minutes. They should start rising to the top. Uh, if they don't, then uh, we know we've either added too much flour or overworked our dough. And we might sort of have a heavy sort of a cut, cut ball. Now, in the meantime, we're taking a nonstick pan and we're going to start heating that. Okay. And what I'm going to do is just take some some unsalted butter. We get a little butter in there. Like I uh -huh. said, nonstick pan. We're going to take some fresh sage that we chopped oh, up earlier. Oh, that looks wonderful. And we're going to put that in, and that's going to kind of get a little crispy there. Uh -huh. That'll be good. It'll kind of bring out some flavors. Sure. Uh, sort of intensify it. And then when we remove the gnocchi, which they're already starting to rise to the top. You can see they're starting to rise. The other problem that you can have sometimes is you overboil them eventually too rapidly that they'll dissolve. And then you just sort of took all your time and sure. ended up with nothing. So now the butter's starting to turn brown. I just turned it off just a little bit. You can see a little color there. And that's what we want, a little bit of color. Just a little bit of color. Nutty flavor. Beautiful oh. nutty flavor. It goes very well with the sweet potato. It smells wonderful. Okay, so now we're going to start taking these out. And you can see they get kind of delicate. Yes. This is going to important to stay away from the pan at this point okay. because uh, it's going to splatter a little bit. So you can actually even move the pan off to the side a bit. All right. Yeah, that didn't take but two minutes and nope. they're ready to go. I mean, actually, it might even have been a little bit less. Uh -huh. So it really depends. It's one of those things that when they start coming to the top, you know that they're done. As you can see, if you kept them in there any longer, they'd start to dissolve. Yep. You can see them starting to fall, fall apart a little bit. But this is the uniqueness of it. It's now they're going to be so light. Can I just move that off to the side? Okay. And now we're just going to get a little color to these. 
And this is something that you don't typically do with like a potato gnocchi, because a lot of times you're cooking those and you're putting them right into a tomato sauce. Sure. So this is sort of a technique that I like, uh, that's uh, it's sort of the searing and getting a little color to it. And it's simple, just a little movement, because you've got to have a Teflon or a non-stick non pan. Non-stick pan is imperative at this point. We, sure. we don't use them in the restaurant because we're used to it, mm -hmm. but for home cooking, it would be great. Okay, you see you have to be careful because they, they are so very delicate. Okay, now we can start removing them. And what I do a lot of times is uh, I leave like the excess butter in there. If you like more butter, you can scoop it out at the end. Sure. And uh, you can see this that really oh, nice look color. Oh, that nice shell on there. I, I, I'm going to start teaching my three-year-old daughter how to make gnocchi. There she you loves go. it. She thinks it's like Play-Doh, and she has a great time with it. So get them in the prep kitchen early. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Now, how many would you probably serve? Would be a normal serving. About a dozen, but they're very, very rich. As you can see with all the butter, uh -huh. here's to it, and the potato, they're very, very rich. You know, there are people that come in and order double orders, and it always sort of amazes me that they can eat that, that many of them. But as an appetizer, I would even say that's fine, uh -huh. or maybe even, even a little less. Take them over here. They look terrific. And we're going to garnish them. Okay. What we're going to garnish them is we put Parmesan cheese in the gnocchi, okay. so I'm not going to put any more on top. Okay. But I'm going to use uh, mascarpone which is a sweet Italian cream cheese, not too sweet. And uh, we've let this sit out a little bit just to soften. And what's kind of fun to do is you can, you can sort of put it on a little bit at a time. Mm -hmm. Or what we do at the restaurant is put it in a, in a squirt bottle. And as it gets a little softer, it's really easy to squirt out. So, I mean, you can, you can do like a little squirts on top. Oh, fun. The kids would love this. It's great. It just really adds a nice little accent. Sometimes we have creative chefs that like to put their initials or whatever. The uh -huh. kids can write their names. but. Or you, that, could, you could squirt it on the plate right. if you'd like. Exactly, yeah. Sure. So that's this nice little garnish. And then typically what I do a lot of times with my dishes is if I'm, I incorporate a garnish of fresh herb. In this case, we use sage when we, when we put the uh, butter in there. So I thought it would be a nice garnish. We'll put a few around the plate. It's pretty beautiful the way it is, so it, it, is. it really doesn't need much. And there we go, sweet potato gnocchi. That's a beautiful plate, Walter. And since I'm standing here with my fork, I've got to try it. Nice and sweet. And oh, nice. they're sweet and smooth. It's a perfect dish for a great fall day. Thank you. Walter, I want to thank you for allowing us to come in and oh, disrupt your kitchen. Oh, it's been fun. It's been great, and there's terrific uh, sweet potato gnocchi. Thanks so much. I'm going to have to have another. You're welcome. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.